It's Free Your Mind Friday, everyone. Grab your cup. And you know what else it is. It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday what? It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday what? Let's go, lady, y'all. Let's go, Tracy. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. It's time for the On Your Now Show. I am your host, Tracy Bray McGee, also known as Divine T. And I am your co-host, Yolanda Langford, and you, Lady, Lady Yo. Yo. Good morning, <laughs> Lady Yo. How are you on this Friday? I am fabulous on this Friday, my dear. You know, so much is happening this weekend. I got caldies in my cup, black coffee, no sugar, no cream, and my cup is full. Actually, it's overflowing. Okay. It's overflowing. Okay. And you know what? My affirmation word for today is grateful. I'm so grateful for you. I am grateful for you, too. I, it is just amazing how we have come so far by faith. Yes, we have. <laughs> yes, we have. Speaking of my cup being full, what's in your cup? What are you sipping well, on? Well, I am sipping on that dark roast from Caldi's. And you know what? My cup is full. It is uh, amazing how it gets to the top and just trickles down the side because I am uh, sipping off the saucer. That's right, <laughs> as you should be. Well, you know what? We made it to the weekend. Lots happening. Yes. A lot is happening. It's Super Bowl Sunday uh, coming up. And mm -hmm. I just want to know, who are you rooting for? Are you rooting for those L.A. Rams? <laughs> Or the Lambs or the Cincinnati Bengals. Well, you know what? I'm going to play fair. I'm rooting for love. Love, <laughs> love, love. You know what? Speaking of love, I think we have a Vibrant Vibe guest. Yes, we do. Who we, is our music in the box guest? We have today? our Vibrant Vibe guest, Tim Cunningham. Ooh, you know we love us some Tim, don't we? We actually do. We have been to so many concerts, and I've been known to do a little dancing to some yes. Tim Cunningham <laughs> vibes. <laughs> you know what? I've seen you do it, and you do have your moves. You know, I'm definitely looking forward to hearing from him. But before we catch a vibe, we need to know of that perfect place to go for a date, don't we? Uh, we sure do, because, you know, I love love. I do, too. <laughs> and I love those perfect dates. You know what? When we return, we will have our What's in your cup guest, owner of dates, ideas, and things to do, Morgan Casey. Life is all about the journey. Life's curves, hitting the road fast or slow. Celebrations, anniversaries, and birthdays. Everything in life is about moving forward. Whatever direction you choose to go, Go far, go in style. New or used, go with Frazier Automotive. Lefties, where the sauce is whipped. The ingredients are fresh. Lefties, the mixes are magical and the rice is everything come get you a plate for $7.99 and experience the hype of lefties fried rice I am Morgan Casey with Date Ideas and Things to Do. Keep watching the Own Your Now show on the iTV Network. As promised, we welcome owner of Dates, Ideas, and Things to Do, 
the Morgan Casey. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you today, my dear? I am well. It's a beautiful day. It, yes, is. it is. And I am excited to hear all you're going to tell us about. Now, let's get it straight. Dates, ideas, and things to do. How yes. did it come about? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> wait. I gotta ask you. Oh yes. What you sipping on? What's in your cup? I am sipping on French roast, oh. uh, and it's I do have cream. I, you know, it's okay. That's I have to have cream. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Tracy, because you know our owners would have got us on that one if they we didn't sure ask will. what got your day started. They well, sure will. now I'll ask the question: <laughs> dates, ideas, and things to do. How did it begin, and what's it all about? Yeah, so, you know, it's, it's been such a blessing to even be able to create this platform. Um, it started off on Facebook as a group. Um, the reason we started it is I was doing a lot of things like skydiving over in wow. Illinois and, you know, going to the sunflower field. I was posting it on my personal nice. Facebook page and it was going viral. Mm -hmm. So I had some coworkers ask me like, hey, like, can you create something where we can like solely just keep up with what you're doing in the city? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, anything that I do, I try to make sure like, I kind of want to make a business out of it. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, it's got, I got to do it with a purpose. Yes, That's right. So I went I home, I asked my fiance, I'm like, hey, we got to come up with a name. Uh, we decided to keep it simple. People don't really like to read as much they on don't. social media. <laughs> they don't. So we want like that title to be straight to the point. And that's how we came up with date ideas and things to do. Um, I will tell you, in the first week, we had over 5,000 members. Wow. Yeah. So And, and now we're averaging over 12,000 new members a month. I know. I think when um, I joined, I think it's like 200 and... 200,000? Yeah, it's like 200 and something. I don't even keep up anymore. I know. That's amazing. That's <laughs> and amazing. you are worldwide. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, it is so well in St. Louis. We're like, well, you know, clearly this is a need, mm -hmm. especially, you know, we created, the, we're only like a year and a half in, yes. um, in the middle of a pandemic. Yes. People are looking for different they data really ideas, are. safe places, you know, all those sorts of things. So we're like, let's put this in other cities. So we are in uh, 16 different cities. <laughs> yes. Yes. Also, and we also um, just expanded to Kenya. So oh, I have yes. a team of five in Kenya that are posting like all these amazing things. I'm looking it's at plane horrible. tickets. Like I got to get there. Oh, yes. <laughs> right. yes. Right. But, you know, it's so interesting. I know I love sunflowers. So when you talked about the sunflower field, there are a lot to do in the loo. In There's the a loo. lot to do. Yes. And sometimes people are like, I don't know what to do. What's next? But you spot like restaurants, all type of things. Talk about the importance of um, inclusivity, how important it is for us to include everyone. Because you know diversity is a big thing yes. when we focus on St. Louis. It's huge, yeah. And that, that's the one thing that I love about our group is that it's a community. Yes. And it's a community of so many different people from different walks of life. Um, and the cool thing is, is that they're all able to come to this one platform and pretty much agree on how amazing St. Louis is. Um, so, you know, when we're posting the places, we do like to make sure that we're keeping in mind, you know, we're wanting to post places that are safe for everyone yes. right. and accepting of everyone. That's very important to us. Yes. Well, let me tell you what, I look on there, you even have things to do for people who are single. Yes. yes. And, and, and you know, when you're single and you're thinking about, well, I want to go out, sometimes it can be a little bit intimidating. intimidating. Yeah. It can yeah. be. You know, speaking of uh, things being a little intimidating, and we're a wellness show, you have a personal yes. story that uh, really attracted me to um, what our mission is all about. Talk to us about it. Yeah, so um, I am 30 years old, just be transparent, but yes. um, I struggle with social anxiety, like mm -hmm. really bad. Um, and the group has really helped me a lot with being able to, you know, come into being my own person yes. and being okay with who I am. Um, but I do have to credit like my mom for three years ago. She, um, she noticed that I was struggling with my mental health and she said, come home. And yes. you know, I was like, no, like, uh, no. <laughs> I, like, I, don't know I, like, I love you. I was like, I don't know, but you know, I, I prayed about it, and and God yes. said, go home. Yes. And I do have a nine-year-old son who, you know, everything that I do, I put him first, and so I'm like, you know, maybe this will be best. So I went home, and with the love and the oh, um, just everything. the the village, you know, I was yes. raised by a village. My son's being raised by a village, but with me being at home, it has allowed me to do so much. And I owe it, I can't wait to like buy my mom like a big Benz or something <laughs> That's and <right>. thank her. <laughs> because I've been able to create so much business. I own an Airbnb now. Yes. Um, you know, I'm, I'm running this 
company that's huge and you know all these things and I owe that honestly to my mom and my stepdad yeah and, and you know it is just such a wonderful thing when you say I came home mm -hmm. that is home you know Stephanie Mills sings that song home right. and it's just something about being able to come home I, now you know I want to be the cool auntie and I hear this word influencer yes talk <laughs> to me it's, especially me about what an influencer is and um, how does it feel to be an influencer <laughs> and you know influencer is a very powerful word mm -hmm. and having influence over a mass um, amount of people right. is an important thing and it's all about how you use your influence so with the influencer it's pretty much you know people that have an influence right. over you know whether it's you know national or local influencers mm -hmm. um, you yeah. know they use their social media platforms to you know show their influence with me now being called an influencer <laughs> I have tried my best to make sure that we use it for nothing but positivity. Right. Um, say that. Yes. Oh, yes. I, we, all, we snap. Yes. It's like, you know, when you yes. say, I feel you, and you snap, when I feel you. It's interesting that you say that because I want to go back to anxiety because I'm a yeah. therapist. Mm. And when you are an influencer, and we've seen, you know, in the media, oftentimes people feel like they got to be their best selves. Yeah. So, you know, I take one selfie and I got to take another selfie. Yes. And let's erase this one. Um, being an influencer, everybody's always watching. Talk to us about the importance of taking a break from social media even. Yeah, so I'll definitely start off by saying I am not your traditional influencer. I will post without, you know, makeup, mm -hmm. without, you know, the, the most expensive clothes. I will talk about my mental health. Um, yes. I just posted saying that money and fame does not get rid of mental health issues. It sure it does doesn't. Not. Um, Sometimes like it that. amplifies. Sometimes that, it amplifies. Very mm -hmm. true. Um, so, you know, I will say that Facebook has created this really neat tool that, you know, we're running these groups that are averaging close to like three, three and a half million viewers a month. Right. But I'm able to click a button and pause all of my groups. I love And we that. have done that so that we can just take the day and breathe and not look at our phones. That's you know. Everything. So you have to find what works for you and what type of self-care helps you, um, but once that's you find it, it it's, it's an amazing tool. That's, that's awareness, that's it, awareness. It is, and we always talk about how important it is to concentrate on your breath, yes. on breathing, because it makes you present. So I love that you take a break, but I do love that you have all the ideas, because <laughs> it's so, I mean, the holidays coming up, and we can get out there and use some of your ideas to yes. have some fun with our loved ones. Yes. So, you know, let me ask you this. What is your affirmation word? What is that one word, or maybe two, that means something to you? Yes, I wake up and I say, I am. Yes. And I will, every day, I will fill that in with a different word. So I am enough, or I am beautiful. Um, all of those things that I wasn't sure if I was yes. um, when I was a lot younger. I now wake up and I am sure, and I wake up and I remind myself of that. You just gave me chills. I am sure. I am sure. Um, I am enough. I love that. I think that is also, I keep saying I love it because this platform that you, as an influencer, you can tell that you're dedicated to it. You talked about purpose, raising your son, being able to have him look in the mirror and say those affirmations beginning with I am. That's powerful. It, it really is. I actually make my son do it as well. Yes. So, <laughs> well, you know, um, we'll be watching her on social media. She'll be like, I am. And I, looks, I am. <laughs> I am too. I am too. How can we stay connected? Because I need to know all the things that are going on, not just in St. Louis, but all, all over, over the world. Because we like to travel. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes. So we have a Facebook page called Date Ideas and Things to Do. And on that page, you'll be able to see all of the different cities that we are in um, for when you are traveling. We also have a website coming called datersanddoers.com, where you also will see a more organized list of the different things to do in each city. Right. But we're also on TikTok for all the young ones. That oh, Tracy. We've been trying to learn the TikToks. I'm learning, too. We've been trying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to stick to the newsletter. I'm just going to get the newsletter, and that way I'll know where to go for my whole family. We're always looking for brunches, and we travel a lot. So this is okay. great. This is really great. You know, we just want to say thank you for saying yes to us. Thank you for being transparent and, and making sure that people know that we all go through things, but we grow through things. And the value of family. Yes. you got that family. Yes. You know, we, we yes. support you in everything that you do. As she said, we your aunties. We're the aunties. We're the aunties. <laughs> When we return, we will have our Vibe in a Box guest, musician Tim Cunningham.
It's not about exact measurements or the perfect dice when it comes to cooking. Good food is about feeling. Inspired food is about comfort. And pure food is about feeding the soul. You have to have soul to feed people right. So pull up a chair, take a taste, and let Pure Catering do the cooking. Visit Pure Catering Cafe STL at the Missouri Historical Society today. Worried about your friend but don't know how to reach out? You can say how are you or get a fake tattoo. You can ask with an app if it works for you. You can chat with them in VR. It's all good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. Hi, I'm Tim Cunningham. Keep watching the Own Your Now show on the iTV Network. every voice and sing oh my goodness as promised we have tim cunningham thank you sir good morning good morning thank good you. morning good morning, good morning. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you you got our morning started because when you play it is a message and it just moves the soul so thank you so much oh, thank you thank <laughs> yes, you very much yes we're so grateful to have you we have to ask you what's in your cup what are you sipping on i'm always sipping on water that is, uh, you know, fraternity brother of mine uh, is a doctor. Okay. And uh, years ago we talked about uh, things that, you know, that, that would be healthy. And uh, I'm always trying to do my best at being healthy. And he said, he said, Tim, <laughs> <laughs> he said, I don't care what you do, make sure you drink plenty of water. So that's pretty much all I drink. Well, you know what, you are you know always at your best. Yes. Now, you know, every time I've seen you perform, but you have so much going on. <laughs> New CD, is yes. that an exclusive? Oh, hold on, y'all know what I say, Lady Yolt always loves an exclusive. <laughs> Give it to me, Tim. Brand new CD <laughs> coming out, uh, it's probably gonna be the summer. Mm -hmm. um, and the title of the CD is probably gonna be Freedom. I got a track on there called Freedom that uh, well, I really like, and uh, with all the stuff going on with right. all the racial stuff going on in the, on in the, on in the, in the country. I thought it was uh, appropriate. You know, it's so interesting that you say that. Um, this is uh, the eve of the Super Bowl. You were an athlete. You yes. probably still are an athlete. I always say once an you athlete, know, always, always an athlete. athlete. <laughs> um, we have a lot of young men that are watching our show and you talk about freedom and black history, um, mm -hmm. the importance of us making sure that our, our cups are overflowing. 
talk to us about history and what that means to you from a perspective of music, uh, an athlete. How, I know that's a, a, a cup full, <laughs> but what does that mean as an African-American male? So from, a, from an athlete's perspective, um, I played college football at Michigan State. Um, it was it was really strange for me because I didn't want to play college. I didn't want to play high school football. Mm -hmm. So there were a lot of kids who um, wanted to play basketball because we grew up <clears throat> with Magic Johnson <laughs> at our high school. Yes. So wow. basketball was huge. And so I never really wanted to play football, but I got to the point where I was good enough to get offers from major colleges and I ended up going to Michigan State. And I, you know, talking to kids on and off, because they were, they were always very impressed that I played Division One college football. Like, like you know, that is football is, and, and you know, football was a way for me to get through college. It yes. wasn't really a way, I, I loved the game, but just like when I um, got ready to transition into the NFL, I did oh, not hold get- Hold on, you said that so smoothly. Right. Transition into <laughs> the NFL. <laughs> the, well, wow. the, the scouts came and they offered me a free agent contract. I did not get drafted, mm -hmm. but they offered me a free agent contract and I turned it down. I wanted to finish up school. I had changed my major from, from music to telecommunications. Wow. So the scholarship's worth five years. So you only get, um, so you, you got an extra year to finish your degree, even though you can't play, because I, I, I started as a freshman. So I had that extra year to finish. I turned down the contract. It was only $40,000. This is 1984. <laughs> that, was, that was a lot. <laughs> so, so um, but the next, but two years later after the strike, the minimum, the minimum salary went to 160. Wow. So I might have signed for 160. <laughs> right. God already <laughs> had yes. your path carved out yes. because we love hearing you play. Yes. And you know, I probably would have loved to watch you play a little football, but I know I love hearing you play mm -hmm. that saxophone. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I tell, I tell the kids, I'm like, you know, the, the football was really cool, but I had a, a my passion was 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 not was not the, the game was to get me through college. Yes. Mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. I mentioned, I didn't want to play even in high school, but it got me through that. And then I transitioned into the saxophone, um, and you know I really you know I, I really I surprised myself <laughs> by getting good enough to to be a, a, an artist, a recording artist. So I I started venturing out trying to. Uh, uh, become an artist and eventually got a record deal with Atlantic Records back in 1994. Awesome. And they released the album in 1996. <laughs> you know, a lot of, this is the pandemic, we're still in the midst of it, and, and our children are trying to find their gifts. Um, in the midst of the pandemic, how do you nurture your gift? Because I know that a lot of things are happening. We're able to have concerts mm -hmm. and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. But um, how are you nurturing your gifts? And I um, keep asking these full cup questions. When did you realize Saxophone, this is it. This is my now. <laughs> um, it was probably the late 80s when I really figured out I was going to be able to maybe get to the next level with the music. Okay. Um, I was uh, um, still practicing on my horn, but not really thinking about where I could go with it. Mm -hmm. Think, I thought about teaching, and then I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to <laughs> do that. And then I thought about what, what else could I do? And then I thought about my, my, direct, my high school band director, Amel Island, who, who uh, turned me on to guys like Grover Washington oh, and, yes. and David Sanborn. Yes. Yes. So I started you know, working on contemporary jazz and that's where I, that's where I ended up. You know? And uh, I'm so glad because that's, it's a blessing. that's you know, it, it, really has, it really has blessed my life. Well, you have blessed our lives. I personally have been to, um, I want to say over 20, <laughs> 20 yeah, <at> least. <laughs> Tim Cunningham concerts and every concert is brand new, is. new music. And speaking of that, I know we have something coming up. Tell to us about your next event. So um, the next event coming up is February 12th, which is a, Valent a Valentine's weekend. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and tomorrow, that show, y'all, tomorrow. <laughs> but that show, that show is that show is sold out. It's oh, sold out. It sold actually, out. it actually sold out in, the, in 30 days. Yes. Um, that's great. So we're 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 seeing a lot of people, you know, respond due to the pandemic of, of buying tickets nice. and getting out Music because is therapy. It's, yeah, it is very therapeutic, and and people are really really jumping on concerts at, at the first opportunity. Mm -hmm. And the next show we got coming up, it will be March 27th, so the Sunday. 
and that's going to be at uh, Sky Music Lounge, which is at 930 Curtis Mill Road in Baldwin. Okay, right. so if right. you, you didn't get a ticket for this sold-out event, and we're glad it's sold out, that mm -hmm. is wonderful. He has another event coming up. Now, before you go, we have to ask you, what is your affirmation word? What is that word that Tim lives by? Um, the word that I really live by is, is, is faithfulness. Today, I'm, I'm feeling like the word is freedom for me because that's, that's going to be the title of my new CD, but I, I always live by faithfulness. Yes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a true God believer, and I believe that if you trust the Lord, he will always bless you. Amen. That's so true. That's true. <laughs> you know, one of um, the affirmations, I, I love it when you, you listen to God, mm -hmm. and one of the things that I heard uh, many, many years ago was when God told you to walk, run like the wind for your mm -hmm. guarantee to fly. And I think that's important when you decide what that journey looks like for you, whether it's playing football, um, getting your education, which right. is really important. You know, I'm, I'm raising a son, me and my husband are raising a son, and he's an athlete, but my husband said, you gotta get that paper. You've yes. gotta get your education. Yes. Scholar, athlete, not uh, athlete, scholar. Say that, I like that, <laughs> scholar, yes. athlete. Yes. But if you find your gift, then you are, you are blessed. And, and we are so thankful uh, that we are able to hear you perform, um, that you are literally allowing us to see what freedom looks like to do what you love. Yes, and, indeed. Um, we just want to say thank you. We want thank to say you. thank you again. Thank yes. you. When we return, get ready for our own Your Now flow. Um, and uh, yes, we're going to have a good time. Because yes, you indeed. know what? We got to get ready for March because <laughs> this thing is just sold out. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. I am blind, but what I do you think? need not see. Mm -hmm. I know this road is there for me If I'm really free And now it's time for the Own Your Now flow. When I tell you today was absolutely amazing. It felt like a flow, didn't it? it, it that music that he plays is its own flow. Yes, I it mean, is. like I always tell you, I've been to about 20 of those concerts, and every single time I feel the music. That's right. <laughs> Speaking of the music, what is your affirmation word for today? Freedom. 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 Yes. Yes, y'all. Well, you know what? We want to thank Tim Cunningham for coming out and vibing with us. You know, I know you all wanted to get tickets for tomorrow, but it's sold out. But you can follow Tim on his social media or head over to Morgan's Facebook okay. page. You know, it's dates, ideas, and things to do. And remember that it's always time for us to know who you are and say, I am who I am. But also be grateful and understand the value of when you look at yourself and you see what faithfulness looks like, you know that some Something is bigger than you and we will always remember to know that when freedom rings it rings and it rings and it rings so keep lifting every voice and sing and until next time keep your cups full go out and create some vibrant vibes keep sipping peace love and positivity and remember tomorrow is in promise so own your, your now, now.